So when you receive your monitoring Wi-Fi stick, inside the box, there are three things. So when we open the box, and by the way, the serial number of the Wi-Fi stick is right over here, right on the box. And then inside, you have your instruction manual. It's in fine print, but it has all of the relevant information included. And then the Wi-Fi stick itself, its serial number, and the antenna that enhances the range. So this is how you assemble the Wi-Fi stick. You can also assemble it like so if you like. And it's ready. Now you can just plug it into the bottom of the inverter, which I will show next. So here's the way the Wi-Fi stick is installed at the bottom of the um, wiring box. It just screws into this connector and it's a four wire connector. So inside, the first terminal is red, that's plaza 5 volts. Second one is 0 volts, that's ground. And then the third and the fourth, the yellow and the blue, that, that's the Modbus signal. Alright, so today we're going to program the Wi-Fi stick. First step is to connect from the internet and instead connect to the Wi-Fi network. So it's connecting now. Oh, it looks like it's connected. So that was fairly fast and you can see uh, it's the serial number of stick and then AP in front. So now we have the internet, so uh, we do not have the internet, so we just go to the one and only accessible node, which is 10.10.254, uh, that 100.254 like so. So this here asks you for a username and password so both are admin with lowercase letters admin admin and then we enter into this uh, Wi-Fi stick and before we choose to program it we may also choose to check the uh, the server configuration so in order to do this we delete the index file and we go to config underscore hide dot html and here we can review the server settings. So the server address is monitoring.csisolar.com and the port is 5277 and connection type is TCP. Same thing for the optional server setting, exact same information. And then the serial port parameter settings are also standard. So hopefully all of these match, um, match your um, what you have. So now we can go back to the 10.10.25 and that 100.254 to program the Wi Fi network. So essentially, the Wi Fi stick needs access to the internet. So, in order to do this, it needs connection to some Wi Fi network that you have in the area. And here, the wizard will actually poll to see if there's such network. And we can see one. It's called CSI Guest. So we can select this one because the signal is pretty strong. Now this here is pretty weak, so we go for the strongest one at 80. And then we click Next. So here, the next step is to type in the password of the Wi-Fi network that you have just chosen. So whatever the password is, just type it in here properly without errors. And then click Next for the step number 3. Now for the step number three, you only want to select this checkbox uh, so that the Wi-Fi stick is still visible after you program it. And then we just want to click Next. And as soon as we hit OK, the settings will take effect. And in about um, 30 minutes, so now we can see that the, this page will no longer load. So. Um, we can at this point just uh, go back to our standard internet and um, just uh, go back to let's say some page, let's say a Google page. Now that we've programmed the Wi-Fi network into the Wi-Fi stick so then it will be able to access this network and, and then start reporting it to the server. So as you can see this is the Wi-Fi stick, it's still there. So now we just need to go to our monitoring portal which is monitoring. Uh, csisolar.com so we go there and here's the page this is the main page so what we would like to do here 
is just enter. So here you want to create a user profile, or you can create um, a plant. So the main thing is to create a plant. And so whatever the password is. So in my case, I have already created a plant, and it's called uh, Seaside Guelph. So we'll just look up this plant real quickly. All right, so we'll just um, find this plant. And there it is. This is our plant. So it's already been set up. I already uh, described the what this plant is, like where it is located, the address, how big it is, 10 kilowatt, what's the tilt angle of my panel, what's the azimuth, it's 45, what's the unit price for my rate, you know, so let's say China Yuan, 33 uh, China Yuan cent per uh, kilowatt hour. So all of these things, um, you can take a look on this information, and then once you've all of this has been set up and by the way here's the plant right here's how you create the plant it's this little plus sign so here you just go add a new gateway slash logger and then you can enter the serial number of the Wi-Fi stick that you have just programmed so just click on this add SN and now you can type in the serial number which in my case is 401 409-9109. Okay, so add this. All right, and now we're done. So this is the logger that we've added. So we just save this. So now the logger has been paired up to this digital pro uh, prototype of the plant. So this. Uh, so now the logger knows where to report this information into. It already knows the server name, and now it. It knows which uh, plant it's paired up to. It's paired up to CSI Guelph. So this is where all of the information will display. Now, currently, this logger is offline, and in about 30 minutes or so, it will start reporting, and the information will start appearing on this page. If you need to reset your Wi-Fi stick because uh, something went wrong and you need to do it, so then you would need to use a flathead screwdriver. So then you would insert it gently here under this plastic and start prying it up slowly all around and as you go try to see that the previous one that you opened up and then at one point it comes apart like so and it's important not to take it apart too fast because there's a very short antenna cable here that you do not want to break off so you just remove it slightly uh, just pull on it with your finger with this uh, antenna cable and it will pop right off and there we go we've opened the Wi-Fi stick so now in order to reset it there's a small reset switch and it's a very small dip switch well actually no it's just a micro switch and then you just push on it it's a push button the one I'm touching with this uh, uh, with this uh, screwdriver so then when you push on it you will see two LEDs light up for about five seconds you keep holding and once they light off you know that the Wi-Fi stick has reset so right now you just see a blinking LED light and that's fine but now we're going to reset it so I depress this push button for five seconds and I wait for these two LEDs to go out and just like that, the Wi-Fi stick is reset. So now you just need to reassemble this and plug this back into the inverter, and then you can try and reprogram this Wi-Fi stick.